On Linux, if you use GTK-based desktop environments like XFCE or Cinnamon and prefer dark themes, you may find out later that some of the apps still look light-colored. If the interface color is not hard-coded by the app's developers, then the reason is likely that those apps are developed using Qt library, not GTK. Qt framework usually doesn't recognize the system's GTK theme. Let's fix that. Currently, there are two versions of Qt library that are used by developers, 4 and 5. We will change the color options for each of them. Let's open the terminal. For apps that use Qt version 4, you need to edit the file name trolltag.conf. I suggest using nano text editor. You need to launch this command. All the commands that I mention in this video you can find in the description below. You need to add these lines in the Qt section of the file. In my case, the file doesn't have the Qt section, so I'm just adding those lines at the beginning of the file. You can move the cursor with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Press Enter and paste it. Once we're done, we need to save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard, then Enter and exit by pressing Ctrl and X. The configuration of Qt version 5 is a bit more difficult. You need to make sure that the dark theme that you chose supports GTK2, not only GTK3. I recommend Arc Dark theme. For apps that use the newer Qt version 5, first you need to install an additional package that adds the support for GTK themes. You'll need administrative rights for that. Use sudo or su command. The command for Arch Linux and Manjaro you can find in the description. Then we need to edit another file named environment. You can open it with this command. If the file already has some lines, add this line at the end of it. In my case it's empty, so I will just add the line to the beginning. Don't forget to save the file with Ctrl and O, then Enter, Ctrl and X. You need to reboot the computer for the changes to take effect. I'll see you guys right after I reboot. I'm back. So let's take a look at our Qt app. Now it looks nice and matches the dark theme. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Have a good day!